What is up, YouTube, and welcome back for another great video. I'm the Pew Pew Black Belt, aka Mr. X, and uh, today we got a sweet video. As you can tell with the title, it is another canic, and uh, I'm super excited to show you all this canic. Um, yeah, enough of me talking here. Let's bring it up. Alakazoom, Alakazam, Tja! Yes, sir. We got the Canic SFX Rival. And she's all cleared and ready to do my gun review on. Alrighty. So I've done this, I did this review a little bit differently than my last reviews. And um, so before I always did review and then I shot it and then I cleaned it. Well, today I already shot it. And now I'm doing the review first. And then I'm going to show you guys the shooting footage. Um, and I'm not going to clean this gun in this review, um, just because this gun is very, very similar Alrighty, to these. I guns. wanted to show you guys just how similar these were, so I'm just doing a quick little break in the video. You can see right here the slides. You can't tell a difference right there, right? I mean, you can kind of tell a little bit. You know this one. You can see the color, but this is the SC. This is a subcompact Canic TP9 Elite. But just looking right here, can you tell a difference right here? between the rival and the um sfx the meta sfx if you look really closely here if you have the rival or the meta you'll see that there is a little bit of difference in the how they machined out some of these cavities so this one on the left yep that's the meta this is the rival you can see that they they kind of carved out a little more here because they added some more weight on the front side but um you can tell there isn't too much of a difference here the firing pins they all look the same whether or not they are the same i'm not sure but you can tell that there's not much of a difference so that the cleaning part of the video if you go watch any of my other cleaning parts of the video the mechanics you'll be like yep it's no different so I'll just go watch one of those videos if you're interested. But yeah, you can just see it's kind of like, geez, these things look awfully similar. All right, enough of me showing you that. Let's get back to the video. I already have cleaning videos on all on both of these guns, the the Canic TP9 Elite Subcompact. Um, this is what this is one of my very first um, Canics that I ever bought. I uh, love this gun. It's got a Romeo Zero on here, and if you, any of you guys are interested, this is a really nice Romeo Zero. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of it at first because the price point was 200 bucks, but now you can get this 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 red dot once they're so while supplies last. But you can get it for about 100 dollars because they they're discontinuing um, the old Romeo Zero. So uh, go get one if you really want one while supplies last on these Romeo Zeros. But um, I have a full review on this gun too. If you're ever interested in getting the Canic TP9 Elite Subcompact, go to my homepage, check it out. Um, like I said before, I used to do review, shoot, and clean. Um, here's a Canic Meta SFX. Um, I got the, it's all clear as you can see, the right on um, low profile co witnessing, just like the Romeo Zero on this one. Love this gun, super sweet. I got um, a couple videos on this gun. I have a video on how I did my custom work there if you're interested in checking that out that's only a one minute long video in my shorts but i got a full review on this gun too if you're interested in one of these guns i would say if you're gonna go buy um a canic sfx i think you should go get the rival um they don't make it in the flat dark earth so if you do want to get a flat dark earth maybe go get the meta um sfx um but Otherwise, if you're going to get one F SFX, I think this is your best bang for your buck. I already have this one. Still love it. I got this gun for right around 500 bucks. This one's going for a little over $600 now. Um, both great guns. This gun comes with a little bit nicer holster. Comes with uh, the aluminum base plates for your mag, for your mag, for your magazines, which only really adds like, was it half an ounce? I think it was 0 0.4 or 0.5 ounces. Um, it adds because I did, I did weigh them. So it really isn't that big of a deal um, of a difference. Um, they do make bigger base plates now that you can get for these if you want to add more weight. Um, but yeah, you can get them. But what came with this gun, these .5 base plates, which is kind of cool. You get you get two 18 rounders versus the Meta. You get an 18 and a 20 rounder uh, with plastic base plates. Um, so I don't know. There's, there's some perks to both of them. 
price point, a little cheaper. Um, you can only really run, like you're very limited with red dots with the Meta, but with the Canic Rival, you can, you can run a lot of different optics on this puppy. Um, you get five different optic plates, which I have them here on the table. Um, it's in the owner's manual. It'll tell you exactly what you can run with those five optic plates. Super, there's a lot of options there. And then also this holster that you get is super nice. It's, uh, it's um, like a competition style ready holster. It feeds through your belt just like that. You get a nice grip on it. Um, super cool diamond plated um, holster there. I like it a lot. We're super impressed with it. Really nice quality holster. Um, Canic has been kind of always giving out like these kind of these throwaway holsters. If you want to, I don't know. What do, what do you guys all think? Do you guys actually like these Canic holsters? I think they're okay for outside the waistband, but these are reversible. And I've actually reversed, I actually reversed my subcompact one and it's not comfortable this is not a very comfortable holster for in the waistband um, i find it comfortable for out out of the waistband but not for in the waistband let me you guys let me let, let, you guys let me know in the comments below if you guys have any of these i say throw away holsters and let me know what you guys think um i think most guys upgrade um to something similar to this or a nicer in the waistband holster if you're going to be carrying you're gonna be everyday carrying your um, subcompact, but um, enough of me ranting about the holsters. Just let me know in the comments below what you guys all think. But I did want to kind of like shout out to um, this Blackhawk company. They made a really nice magazine holster that I like. Um, this this holster is pretty nice. Um, I didn't get sponsored or anything by these guys, but you can put your magazines in here or however you like. And um, there's an adjuster screw right here, so you can adjust it. I bought that extra because I'm, I'm kind of trying to practice and train for doing like speed shooting drills and stuff. And that's kind of what I did in this video. You'll see here when, when I get to the shooting part of the video. Um, also, if you are gonna get into like firearms in general, if, you don't, if you're new to this firearms or if you're had a lot of firearms, I always recommend everyone get some dummy rounds for whatever gun that you, or for all your guns. I got dummy rounds for all my guns. This is just made by Zoom. These are nine millimeter dummy it's rounds. Happened. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. Go get some dummy rounds. Have some fun. Enjoy yourself. But back to the Canic Rival. This, I was really super impressed with this gun. So, just so you guys all know, if you do own a Canic Meta and you're thinking about getting a Rival, they weigh the same. They weigh right around 26 ounces without the magazines in. Magazines, I think I was weighing them, they're right, right around three ounces. And then you put that little aluminum base plate on there. You got like three and a half ounces with your magazines unloaded, obviously. But yeah, they weigh about the same. This one has really aggressive slide cuts on here. Really nice for press checking. I really, really, really like that. Um, especially since you're going to use it for competition shooting. You, you want to be able to rack that next round in quick if you need to. Or clear it round out quick. Like you don't want to be fumbling around, slipping around. That's why I really, really, really like this slide. I was super thoroughly impressed. The irons on here, super nice, fully adjustable rear sight on here. Um, really like the irons. Real quick here, why I love this Canic Rivals trigger on here. But um, all right, we'll do a press check quick. Always can never double check your gun too many times. But um, this flat face trigger, love it. And then you'll see that when you hit the firing pin wall, it's gonna be at 90 degrees. See, at the firing pin wall, got 90 degrees and it's gonna break really crisp, really clean. And then the reset on this is really quick and then you and it, it immediately puts you right at the firing pin wall. You see? Right when it resets, you're right on the wall. Some some guns, um, not gonna name any good names on other firearms, but they'll have a lot of travel. So you'll have all this travel, and then then you have all this dead space to get back to the firing pin wall. The one reason why I love Canix. And um, I think the Walters are like that too. They're really crisp, really clean. So Walters are really good triggers too. But right out of the box trigger, you can see that. Watch that clean, crisp, quick. See how that, the reset, I, I was a little off of But the reset is so quick and you're right on that trigger. And the trigger, the trigger is so nice. Oh, Canik did such a beautiful job with this trigger. I really want to put this in my subcompact and my um 
uh, Meta SFX. I just love this trigger so much. I love how it breaks at 90 degrees. I love that it's flat faced. Um, these triggers, if you're not familiar with them, press check one more time. It's all clear. I'll show you guys these triggers here, but they break so far back. You see it? That's the firing pin wall. And it's kind of like a curvature, not flat face, but it breaks way back here. And you can see you're just, you're just, not, you're just not 90 degrees anymore. Um, that's like super slight little stuff that can help with accuracy. Having that flat faced trigger breaking at 90 degrees. Um, yeah, and you can still be accurate with those other triggers. It's just very slight little stuff that uh, will help you transition back and forth. That's why they made it. That's why they designed it. Um, so you get a lot of stuff with them. Um, you get two magazines. These are the subcompact magazines. These are the new rival magazines. Those are the meta magazines. You're getting back straps. You're getting cleaning rods, cleaning bristles. These are the stock base plates for the met, for the new rival. Um, I already I already put the aluminum ones on, and I do have a short video for y'all. You can go check that out. And then also there's all the optic plates. There's your tool kits. You get your hard um, cases here. You get the nice owner's manuals. I recommend you all go check, read these owner's manuals if you do get them. Canik makes really nice owner's manuals. Nice step-by-step -step instructions, pictures. I mean, their owner's manuals are nice. You get the speed loaders. You just can't go wrong buying a Canik. But enough of me talking here. Let's get out to the range and uh, I'll show you guys how this gun shoots. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Alrighty, all ready to go now. Gun's still free and clear, but um, I'm gonna shoot some Federal American Eagle 140, 47 grain first. Um, I have had some issues in the past um, shooting the light loads right away. So I'm gonna shoot um, 10 rounds with the heavy loads. Now I'm just gonna start shooting with the light loads and see if we have any issues. I imagine we're not gonna have any issues, but uh, yeah, this is some flat nose, full metal jackets, 147 grain made by Federal. And then, uh, Next, I'm gonna start shooting um, some of Blazer's aluminum. So if you guys are wondering, this is 115 grain. But uh, other than that, let's get to it, all right? Alrighty, we're out here at um, 15 yards and then 25 yards for that farther target right now with the Canic Rival open sights. And uh, I'm super pumped to be shooting this puppy today. Um, we're shooting 147 grain first. All right, let's get to it. at 15 yards I uh, have 115 grain aluminum CCI's blazers and um, we're gonna shoot that quick at that metal that middle steel target here the big gong we're just gonna see how on this is still still shooting some nice groups you guys can see that right there. I'm pretty happy with that. I was shooting pretty fast, so. Alrighty, let's do some uh, more skilled shooting. Let's see how it does with the skilled shooting. Alrighty, now we know that the gun is on, the gun is operating properly. Um, I'm gonna keep running this 115 grain aluminum cased uh, ammo. And now I'm gonna start shooting some other targets here, so. Each magazine only has 10 rounds. I have two magazines right now. So uh, let's get to some shooting. Alrighty, alrighty. Still gotta figure out how this thing's going. Oh, that was the last round. Alright, let's get reloaded and uh, do some more shooting, huh? All right, we're back at 15 yards again, and uh, I'm gonna do some more shooting with the uh, aluminum case to ammo here. Let's just see how she runs.
Alrighty, we're back out here at 25 yards this time and um, I'm going to do a fun little drill here and I'm going to start right here and then I'm going to engage on the targets and then try to neutralize more targets once I get up to 15 yards. But I'm going to try to shoot and walk at the same time. I've been trying this new technique so um, let's get to it I guess, right? Shooting that aluminum still, 115 grain. Reload. All right, not too bad. I think we should run that again. Let's run it again. All righty, we're gonna run this again. Starting at 25 yards, we're gonna engage on the target and walk towards the target and go up to 15 yards and try to neutralize as many of the targets as I can. And uh, just to clarify, I'm only, I only have two magazines. They both have 10 rounds in them. So um, I'm just practicing here. I uh, it's just yeah, I'm new to this whole stuff. I'm trying some new techniques, so bear with me and uh, let's have some fun. All right, let's get to it. Motherfucker. There we go. Alright. Whew. Could have done a little better there. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm a rookie. I am a rookie and I'm just having some fun. Hope you guys are enjoying. I think we should do one more round. So let's do one more round. Alrighty. The Canic Meta was whispering in my ear and I said, hey, Mr. X, I want you to run me at least one time. So I was like, alright, alright, alright. I'm going to run you one more time here before we go inside. I did bring it out here, so I might as well at least run it. This time, though, I'm going to run two 10-round magazines because I'm only doing it once. And um, we'll see how much better I do with the meta with the red dot. I imagine I should do a little better. So, alrighty, let's get to it. Oh, yeah, as you can tell here, I'm running 115 grain brass now. So, alright, let's get to it. Alrighty YouTube, before we get done with the Canic Rival here, I found this in the garage, as you can tell there's a little bit of dust on it, but I made this like, I don't know, maybe eight months ago. This is my bulletproof vest, like, you know, just trying to goof off and just trying to see what I could use. Um, I, I remember I used poker chips, and that's Gorilla Tape, and then there's a piece of wood in there too. There's no metal, nothing else, it's just poker chips, I can't remember, a couple hundred, I don't know. There's a lot of poker chips in there, and then Gorilla Tape, and then some wood. I kind of wanted to see how uh, bulletproof it was, and I figured why not use some uh, full metal jackets. Uh, these are brass. These are full metal jackets, 115 grain, and then I got one gallon jug up there we can use too. But uh, alrighty, we're at 15 yards with the Canic Rival. Shoot at my homemade bulletproof vest. Alrighty, let's see what we got. All right, there's the entrance wound. Yeah, right through. Yeah, she's not very bulletproof. <laughs> but uh, let's hit that water jug, huh? All right, we are all done for the day. Uh, the Canic Rival shot amazing, looks amazing, feels amazing. I like everything about this gun, it's a beautiful gun.